Clifton has really become such a fixture in our community um, in terms of organizing, not just around racial justice, but for really just social justice in general, um, you know, really showing up to all kinds of events, um, all kinds of activities, and not only ensuring that the racial justice perspective is being heard, um, but also really supporting these kind of intersectional efforts as well. Um, and all the while, you know, these are not um, easy things to deal with, right? We're talking about um, people who have been murdered, people who have suffered at the hands of police brutality, um, people who are having, you know, their rights stripped away. Um, and he's able to, you know, impart that information in the appropriate way to people, but also really motivate and inspire people to, um, to get involved with this work and, and, and build better and stronger and safer communities for everybody. I feel like we go through, as a society, we go through uh, waves when it comes to the hot justice topic um, in society. So, you know, we may go through a wave where it's like, oh, stop Asian hate or Black Lives Matter or let's care about this community or that community. And I just really want to put out there, like, we should be caring about all these communities all the time, no matter what. <laughs> uh, no matter whether it's the hot topic of the summer or the hot topic of the month or if it's Black History Month or Indigenous People's Month or whatever month or day it is, we should be caring about all this. So. The first time we met in person was um, at a meeting with um, one of the House representatives from Durham, Cam Kenny, um, and we were the three of us went and got coffee, and we're just kind of talking about, um, you know, how the the House could kind of support both of our our efforts. And um, I just remember that um, Clifton showed up with the I think it was the list of demands that um, BLM Seacoast had kind of co-authored um, in terms of you know transparency from law enforcement and some kind of um, broader racial justice goals as well. Um, and he just like really showed up and like laid down the line, but did it in the most like warm and um, just like. How, like how could you not want to like be on board with anything that this guy is doing type of way and that just really struck me and I've noticed that time and time again like every time we work together um he is just like simultaneously such a ray of sunshine and also like so deeply committed to this work and so good at advancing the causes that um he cares about and that really benefit our communities 